so if everything went well uh we should be pretty much done and uh be on our way so let's check it out okay no error so far that's good um we're just gonna i'm going to minimize this so that you can see what's happening so this is the f uh, video file I wish to use and get some frames from so I'm just gonna go ahead and find it okay and um, we'll just pick an arbitrary point in time whatever and uh, <laughs> 1 minute 20 seconds is good enough save it on 6 frames per second and let's just save it here so and start oh error okay <laughs> I'll be back in a bit Alright, so um, I figured out what the error was, and uh, basically it's over here. Uh, so basically what we're trying to do is check if the string is empty. Uh, but what we've ended up doing is checking if the text box itself is null. Um, so, we'll stop debugging. What we need to do instead is check if the text in the text box is not so uh, that's pretty much where the error is and um yeah it's repeated <laughs> all this place so just go ahead and uh, fix that and uh, if you're sharp enough to catch that that's really impressive So, um, hopefully this time it works, uh, if we click run, and, uh, so pretty much just the same thing, uh, choose your video file, and so on. Okay, I lied. I'll be back again. So after a bit of searching, I uh, on Google I came across this, which is basically a method for strings called is null or empty. And uh, the idea is, you not only test if the string is null, but you also test if it's empty. And um, yeah, so if we go ahead and change change it from this and just use the method, uh, it will hopefully work. All right, it's a bit more crowded, but uh, let's see if it works.
All right. Uh, so it's still not working. In the interest of time, I'm just gonna go and find the thing and make sure it works, and then hopefully explain what happened. All right. Um. So, uh, the last error comes over here. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, um, and over here again, basically, the format's supposed to be zero zero uh, colon zero zero colon dot. That's where the error is. So if you change, change it there and uh, change it there. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> and uh, now it should work. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Go ahead and start it, and um, let's try this again. So choose the video that you want. Choose the time, uh, start time and time frames, location, and start. Oh. Uh, I was going to edit this out, but I think I'll just keep it in and just show you. So basically, why is this here? Uh, essentially, what happened is uh, if you come down here, it's just it was a way to debug. So instead of passing the argument to the command line, um, I just set it to the text box. So it's just it's just a way to see what exactly is getting sent in the R. Now now it's the dot. So, um, if you run it, <laughs> if you go ahead and run it, um, and uh, choose choose the video. Start time. Frames per second. Location. And start. Oh wow. Alrighty. Uh, so remember how I was saying those spaces are important. Well, turns out the latest one was uh, there's supposed to be a space between basically image two and the colon so right now this is what's getting sent in the allocated space there yeah so <laughs> fingers crossed uh go ahead and run it again and um i'm hoping you guys missed some of these errors uh <laughs> yeah anyways Try this again. And there's the screen we want to see. And there are the frames we want to see. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we should get about 80 frames because uh, we're saying 10 seconds at 8 frames each. So. We uh, go down here, etc. Yep, so it's about 80. And, um. And look at that, they move. Great stuff. So, at this point, our frame grabber is basically working. Um, or a left. All that is left is just a few touch-up things to uh, make it a bit more polished. So with that, I'll s hopefully see you in the next uh, tutorial.